another method that's used to represent negative numbers is what's called excess 8 notation. And this is actually pretty simple. What this means is that we add 8 to our number that we want to represent, and then we convert the, that number to a binary number. So for instance, let's say we want to represent negative 8. So we would add 8 to negative 8, because this is excess 8 and we get 0, so that's right there, and then we and then we write the binary number for 0, which is 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, let's do another one. Let's say we want to write the, let's say we want to write um, 1 in excess 8 notation. So we have 1 here, so we would do 1 plus 8, and we get 9, and then we write 9 as a binary number, so um, 1, 0, 0, 1 is 9. Um, another example, 7, so let's say we want to write the binary number for 7, so we want to write 7 in excess 8 notation, so 7 plus 8 is equal to 15, and 15, the bit pattern for 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1. So basically all we're doing is, if we come over here to the method, we're adding 8 to the number. So whatever number we want to write in binary, we're adding 8 to that number. And then we're converting that, the result to binary. So the advantages of this is that it maintains the bit pattern order in the numbers. So we can eyeball numbers and see and easily tell which ones are larger or smaller. Um, also, we only get one bit pattern for zero, so we're not wasting a bit on zero. So we have one bit for zero, and it's that one. We, we don't have another bit representing, or another bit pattern representing zero. And the other good thing about this is that the addition operation can be used for subtraction. So just like the two's complement, we can also use the excess eight notation to to subtract numbers using the addition um, algorithm. The only disadvantage of this is that it's harder to compute than two's complement. So it's two's complement is quite a bit easier to um, figure out what your binary number is than this excess eight notation. But let's look at an example of some math using this. So we have seven minus two. Let's well let's do seven minus two. So 7, so this can be rewritten as 7 plus negative 2. So what we want to do is get our number here. So 7 is um, in excess 8 notation. We have 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. And so then we're using the binary number for 15. So this would be 1, 1, 1. And then negative 2 is here. And so the way we get this binary number is we have negative 2 plus 8, that's equal to 6, and then we're going to write 6 in binary, which is 0, 1, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 1, 0 plus, and then if we just add these together, this is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So I get 0, 1, 0, 1 which is equal to 5. And that's what we're expecting because 7 minus 2 is 5. Now let's do um, 6 minus 1 just for one more example. So I'll do it up here. So 6 minus 1, um, I have, I'm going to do, so I'm going to rewrite this as 6 plus negative 1. And then I'm going to get, so 6 plus 8 is equal to 14, so the bit pattern for this is 1, 1, 1, 0. Minus 1 is here, so minus 1 plus 8 is equal to 7, so then the bit pattern for negative 1 is 0, 1, 1, 1, plus, and now I'm just going to add these together, so I get 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, one zero and this is equal to 
5, which is what we expect because 6 minus 1 is 5. So now let's look at, so this excess 8 notation that we've been looking at here, this is actually a special case of what's known as bias notation. So with the excess 8, that means that we're biased around 8 when we write our binary numbers. And any number or bias can be used. So we could use 4, so we could do excess 4. Um, we could use 127, which you'll see when we get into floating point numbers, that excess 4 and excess 127 are often used. Um, and this is, so the point of this is that the excess 8 is just a special case of the bias notation and that we can use any number or bias when we write our numbers using this notation. And this is important for the um, IEEE floating point standard. Um, bias notation is also used one is also going to be used when we write floating point numbers, which we're going to look at next.